I'm reminded of a very strange story. There were two friends who were walking through the woods in the middle of the night. It was very, very dark. Uh, one friend was a theologian. The other was a minister, a church minister. And they were lost. The temperature started to fall and a storm started to brew. Suddenly a, storm, a thunderstorm happened. Lightning flashed through the woods. Now the theologian looked up to analyse the sort of cloud formation and the sort of lightning that they were experiencing. The minister used the light from the lightning to illuminate his path as he walked home in safety. And I feel that this is the approach that people maybe take towards the heavenly doctrines. You could approach the heavenly doctrines from a critical viewpoint. You can start trying to find fault, maybe try to find contradictions, or try to wrestle with what you might consider to be incorrect uh, translations. Or you can apply what the heavenly doctrines teach. You can walk the path illuminated by the heavenly doctrines and you can see where that path will lead you. Then and only then will you know the true inner meaning of the word. And then you'll understand what it feels like to start to move from repentance through reformation towards regeneration. But the spiritual path towards regeneration is not one that you would read and agree. It is one that you understand and apply.